Ayn Rand says that her characters were romantically real, meaning that they were based on actual real people. I've never met a John Gall, have you? And paraphrasing the popular phrase WWJ do among Christians, how would objectivists answer the phrase WWJG do? You know, what would John Gall do? Now, first of all, her characters were romantic, not because they were based on actual characters. Uh, there's no Ragnar Daniskold and John Gall out there covered in the Hearst Press that she based it on. She means only that her characters are reached by abstraction from you know, actual characters and that they are possible uh, in this uh, world as opposed to being just fantasy figures. Yes, I have met one, and that was Ayn Rand. I certainly met and knew her. And she was John Gall, but, you know, with the female versus male. Now you say, what would John Gall do? What would the objectivist answer be to that? What would we do about what? We don't ask that question because we are not concerned with having concretes handed down from on high. We're concerned with philosophic principles. And then it's up to each individual to figure out how it applies rationally to the concretes in his life. Now, if you're a religion, you want to know what would Jesus do uh, if the money lender in the temple had only 30,000 ducats and not more. But that is not the kind of question that objectivists ask. Uh, and when they know the philosophy, they're on their own, so this question never comes up. Nor does it come up at the hairdressers, which I get all the time. Since Rourke has orange hair, why don't you? I mean, that is beyond uh, the pale, because that is not taking a philosophy as ideas, but as just the concretes uh, of the given hero. Just because John Gall would do it doesn't mean that's everybody's choice. The principles we could agree with, but we could decide he thinks physics is great and I can't stand it. <laughs>